Well, welcome to tonight's healthy hour. We are making Mexican enchiladas and we're not using um, tortillas. We are using spaghetti squash as our texture, okay? Because that's kind of what we, what we lack in those things. So I put a little bit of olive oil in our pan and then this is what your squash looks like when you buy it in the store. And then I'm lazy, so I cook it really easy. I just puncture holes in it and I bake it in the oven at 350 for an hour and voila, follow me camera person. <laughs> Hi. Okay, we get this cooked little delight. And what I do is I cut off the end and you guys might have easier ways, but I just figured this out the other night and I thought it was pretty awesome. So I cut off the end and then I scoop out the end. Okay, so I just scooped in there and I do have clean hands. Scooped out the insides and took all the seeds out. And then I just bring it over here and just start pulling out the, the strings. And you can do this with a fork. I just do it with my hand because it's clean anyways and I just rip it out. <laughs> and y'all are like, yeah, I'm not really going to eat that. <laughs> Look at her hands all in there. Really, I thought she scratched her nose. <laughs> <laughs> this also works great for um, if you want to do spaghetti, because it's spaghetti squash. You can just use marinara sauce, make it from scratch, and throw that on there. And they taste just like, I mean, the texture is just like noodles. And I actually like the taste a little better than any pasta. Sometimes I'll do a whole wheat pasta. That's a little health, healthier too. I mean, this is the way to go, but whole wheat pasta would be your next, your next healthy. So we get all that out and then we're gonna saute our meat and our vegetables. So I did, um, got a little crazy and did some, they're called Blanc, Blanco or Serrano peppers and you have to wear gloves to cut them or you will burn your hands. And I can't be around them because I cough terribly. <laughs> so this is what they look like. I'm gonna hold it way over there. <laughs> I cut the head off of it, but you cut the top of it off and you take out the um, seeds, you dice it up. So I have some already over here diced up that I'm gonna dish out. And you also put in some of the red onion. So I have red onion and I have serrano peppers diced up that I'm not going to touch. I'm going to read the stove and I'm going to use just a drizzle. That's olive oil. And we're going to use peppers and the onions for about two minutes until they soften. And then we're gonna add a little taco seasoning to it, a little chili powder, and then we'll do up the meat, so. And then the onions, and I just added a teaspoon of taco seasoning, and you can use whatever taco seasoning that you prefer. And I just kind of mix that up until the, um, and cook them until the onions and peppers are soft. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and add the hamburger right in there. I kind of push my vegetables to the side and I cook my meat a little bit and then I add my vegetables in. I don't know if that's right or wrong. And once we brown this, we will um, also add a tablespoon of taco seasoning to it. And in the meantime, you can come over here and you do your, um, there's three tablespoons of cream cheese and a half a cup of like a Greek yogurt. Oh, that is not big enough. I have that cheat. in my fridge. <laughs> so normally I do a small bowl, but I wasn't prepared. Mm, yeah. um, mix this together and then you mix, um, I mix a whole can of enchilada sauce. <laughs> <laughs> So you can mix this up, and you don't worry about it being lumpy because once everything is warm and gushy, the, the cheese will melt really good. So you just mix it all together with your sauce. Pour your can of stuff in. Mix it in, and you can salt and pepper 
to your liking. I'm not going to salt and pepper this. Sorry, guys. You can salt and pepper it as you eat it. Um, just because it's better to not cook with it, really. Okay. So once I go back over, I'm going to finish browning that meat, and I'm going to add all the peppers together with some more taco seasoning. And then I'm going to mix all of that together, and then I'm going to top it with some Mexican cheese. And this does count. So it counts as one green and three servings, or three servings of green and one lean protein. And that's the program that I'm on. That, that's how we eat. We eat five fuelings, uh, Optavia fuelings, and then we have a lean protein and three vegetables, servings of vegetables. So, and then I'm going to take out of the oven the finished product so you can see what it what it looks like, and then we'll all try it and see what we think. As I burn the other stuff. Because that's normally how I cook it in my house. What do you got going on over there? <laughs> Jenny scared me. Jenny is filming this right now, so I don't know what is going on. <laughs> Like TV. I'm probably going to come off like morphed with ears or something or <laughs> big bug eyes. So this is the finished product. So, and you only bake it at 350 for 20 minutes and it just bakes nice and nice and pretty. And then you serve it in squares. And so one nice size square is your full serving of your meal. Okay, we're done.